Guys, uh, let me just show you a quick overview of our new extension project that we had created for um, what purpose? To generate code from the targetings to generate the actual targeting cache access code in C++ and the bidder executable, the bidder source code itself, and to assemble to generate, to assemble, to compile, build, and basically release in one go. The pro project is located right here under main umbrella of vanilla RTB. You'll go to extensions and um, and the structure is basically you get the install script that you need to run before you do anything that will bring uh, our stubs and all the stuff that needed for generator. Um, but before that, you should go through dependency wiki, which will tell you what needs to be done to install the Go, um, because it's basically our generators written in Golang, what, how to install NPM, and CMake. Now, for macOS, it's down below here, it's much simpler. And I'm using Mac to record this, so I have everything installed by running all these commands. Now, uh, <clears throat> so to clone it, you know, it's a very simple command. You probably know all of that. So we do git. You see this? So we do we do git clone, and I use recursive. For all projects and that's it that's just gonna create extension sub subdirectory and gonna pull the stuff from the git and all the dependency because see we had some we had some dependency for a PHP for PHP project so without the recursive it wouldn't pull it in <coughs> so let's go to extensions and as I told you the first thing you need to do is According to um, this readme to run install dot sh h so you do that and it just does magic import stubs and does all kind of interesting stuff it's actually explained in the readme file while we do it so you have to go over a readme file and, and read this. And we'll just go and review today Node.js. Uh, so uh, uh, under the root, a bunch of folders here. And all those folders like PHP, Node.js, Java, Golang, they're all related to the bindings to the specific languages. Everything else around here is for the generator itself. The generator is written in Go, which is bittergenerator.go. It's a main file. And it's based off um, libraries that we provide say for a CMA cache application entity whatnot if you get some interest to look into that please go ahead um, so the project as I said generates code and then it builds compile compiles and builds it so let's go to node.js folder and in every folder we provide readme file so if you look at the readme file it tells you that if you don't have package JSON, then you do this, and we do provide it so you run npm install. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run npm install. So as you notice, the, the command outputs the, what it's doing. So it's cloning framework. It's cloning it from our main uh, repository, which is under my name right now, it's a Benedicto Vanilla RTB. This is demand side framework C14. Because not so many people understand use C14, they use other languages. We decided to create extension project. So here, here you go. So this Node.js subfolder went through CMake, downloaded boost that we requ requested. We require 166 and uh, uh, it's Basically, it's configurable to download any version of Boost. So currently, it's already generated beta CPP, and it's building this beta CPP. We didn't provide this file, but our generators were able to generate it on the fly from this one command. 
And uh, this file currently is provided, it's bindings, but we're going to generate it in the future. And so everything is found correctly, everything is linked, and one happy library called vanilla rtbjs is created for the node. Now, if you go and look the ne next command in, in readme, it tells you that you can run the beater. So, let's quickly look at the beater GS. All it does basically, it just bootstraps, runs the beater. That's all it does. It's a JavaScript code. Um, and it's going to use the library that we just created. The library that vanilla-rtb-js.node was created by this whole process and this um, this JavaScript is just going to use it. So when we run node, we we'll run node, it just bootstraps our library. So this is our C++ running, uh, C++ lib right, library running inside of node engine V8 basically, right? So you got everything tells you where the, you know, uh, ICO campaign, IPC memory is, everything is tells you what host, port, whatever, whatnot. So, <clears throat> To test this, we use AB and um, oops. So it's running Apache tests, again, the node running the beater. So you get 20,000, 21,000 requests per second on this build. And each time you build, because when we build, we also use the um, uh, data random generator. It generates different campaigns. So this one is probably heavier. It collects probably more in the end, so it gets a little less. But uh, a few minutes ago, I had 27,000 or 23,000. It's all varies, basically. Um, as vanilla main, the library still has an issue with um, uh, 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 selection algo that we had a co currently created an issue. We had to fix it. But for this purpose of uh, this project, you don't really need it. You just need to see if your bidder can be automatically generated and happily running. So this is a whole basically builder generate created built happily runs. Uh, this is a two core Mac Air notebook basically, and uh, we can run curl just to see what bid we get. Yes, we get response back. This is 100 match, 100% match. So. Um, So basically, you get the response. It's not like basically uh, uh, a dummy bid, you know. You get the response back. Okay, well, that completes uh, my demo for today. Um, and then here in this project, basically, uh, under Node.js, you saw um, a bunch of files. So the like CMake is needed for, and it's been written specially for the Node. And uh, this file was generated, and I can look inside the file. It should tell me right there. Yes, application code generated by Go Generate tells you when it was generated, and essentially this is a beater, C++ beater, but it generates it and makes it as a library, basically. Um, but everything here is one monolithic beater with a bunch of configs and a bunch of functions. It's not a big one, it's probably, you know, less than 500 lines, but um, yeah, 187 lines, that's it. That's 187 lines of generated code, basically. So instead of writing by hand and assembling it, generators can just create it within five, five seconds, basically. And in uh, another folder called Golang, um, similar idea, but uh, Go 
bindings are different, of course. So, and um, and the way that we bootstrap the bidder is slightly different too. So, you know, it's not it's not JavaScript, but it's a Go, which um, you know, which basically is going to run our functions. And see, it says run bidder. So it's a, it's a bit it's a bit different, but it's the same idea. We just run bidder from Go. Um, we have an addition here to this Go package. We also created a uh, handle function for um, and the code for bidder for Golang slightly in this example is slightly different because it injects one call into um, the bidder that calls back this handler um, on a success on a successful bid. We just want to show how it can be utilized that the bidders can communicate back to the Golang layers and things like that. But um, the future of this project most likely would be that we will generate the actual bindings. So currently you have bidder bindings, which is hard coded by me personally. I just wrote it. So I say, yeah, I just want to run main function. But that's just the whole bidding process. That's whole uh, all these targetings that I had to go through, you know, um, there's three, four lambda function that I'm calling. So instead of doing that, we'd like to generate this file from our targetings so, and put those functions here so that people can write code in Golang, not in C++. Um, and the same idea will be for Node.js. So currently the bindings, the beta binding file, which is V8, so you see we're including V8 um, objects, we're including non.h. This is a C++ of V8 engine. This is how V8 understands. See, they have specific for strings and, and things like that. Uh, it was not so hard. It was macro non method, and you get a whole function running. So this file here will be generated by our generators. We just need to uh, add um, an additional flag, an additional generator, um, and it should generate all the um, um, interfaces to um, our targeting caches. And then you can actually run and write the code yourself, writing the code in Node.js or, I mean, in JavaScript or Golang. So this completes my small little video and I hope you guys like it. Give us um, a like, send us questions. Uh, we'd like to hear from you guys. Um, Thank you.